Hey guys, Gearholic here, coming at you guys with another review. Today it's going to be over the 510 Anasazi VCS. Pretty awesome shoe. Um, I recently purchased these for uh, approximately $120 on Amazon. Uh, I guess I've had these for probably about eight months now, testing them out, climbing in them, uh, that kind of thing. And I'm going to be doing the review basically in sections, so that way it breaks it down and makes it nice and quick for you guys. Um, so that way you guys don't have to sit through such a long review. All right, stay tuned. Here we go. All right, guys. So now we're going to go over types. There are three different types of the 510 version of Anasazis. There's the lace-up, the moccasin, and the Velcro. Um, this is obviously the Velcro. This stands for uh, VCS, or Velcro Strap, which is this version. So, uh, And then there's the Moxin version. The Moxin version is basically a slip-on uh, shoe size. Um, they usually come in red, I believe, is the only color they may come in. If they do have other colors, I'm not aware of it. Um, and I believe there's a lace-up version. Um, the lace-up version is going to be pretty cool. If you guys don't really like the Velcro Strap version, you can always go and get the lace-up strap one. And basically, the lace-ups are pretty easy because if you break the shoelace, you can always replace it with a pair of 550 cord or, or another pair of shoelaces. Uh, you know, it, it's going to be easy to repair. And they cinch down a lot tighter. Um, these cinch down pretty tight as well. The Velcros on them are, is pretty good. I know a lot of guys uh, that complain about the fact that the Velcro will eventually wear out and the hook and loop closure won't, use, it won't be uh, the same as it once was. So that's one thing to watch out as far as, uh, as, far as types goes. So, all right. All right, so let's go ahead and start talking about sizes. Uh, basically, this is a size 11. Um, I wear usually 11 and a half to 12s in my street shoe, um, but for rock climbing, uh, especially the 510, I've found that half sizes are probably gonna be your best bet. So if you go with a half size of whatever your street shoe is, you start working from there and you basically start working your way down or up depending on which, which one you want. Um, they can either be tighter or looser depending on your preference. Um, all climbers, you know, they basically prefer different preferences. The tighter they can get, maybe the better they can climb. Uh, the looser they can get, maybe the more, you know, maybe the more they climb better in their eyes or whatever you want to do. Uh, that's basically for size wise. I know these do come in a variety of sizes. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where they start and where they end. I do, I don't believe they sell these uh, any, any bigger than a 13, uh, but that's just what I think I've been looking at online. Um, so if you have bigger feet, maybe you should call the company. That might be a special pair that needs to be made. So that's one thing to keep your eyes out for. Um, and that's all I really have to say for sizes. Um, and they fit really well, really. They do. They fit well. Um, I didn't have a problem sizing these out uh, for my shoe size. So you should have an easy time. All right, next section is going to be color. So color, um, these are obviously blue. Um, they, all, they also come in tan. Uh, and then I'm not really exactly sure what other colors there are for the lace-up versions and for the moccasins. Um, the only color I'm for sure on is that the moccasins come in red. Um, I, I know this from experience because my friend got a pair and he, he, he likes them a lot and they're really good shoes. Um, and, but the only thing is the first couple of months they turn your feet red and I'm not really sure exactly why, uh, 510 has gone through the process of dyeing the inside of the shoe, but his feet did turn red. And I know that's been one of the problems with the moccasins, or at least I've found, uh, especially on people that just got them, they have red feet, which is kind of, that's kind of a funny thing. But once you wear them in enough, uh, your feet eventually just kind of, I guess, soak up a lot of that dye that's inside the shoe. Um, that was not something I really wanted. So I made sure that when I went with the VCS, that the insides were going to be synthetic. Um, so I'm not sure if that's an actual problem with uh, the, the newer model uh, um, um, Anasazis or not, but I do believe that the inside of this, this, this shoe is, uh, is made out of purely synthetic upper and lower. Um, and so that was, I haven't had any problems with that as far as being on my feet. Um, but the color wise, you know, they do come in a bunch of different colors. I'm sure that, uh, I'm sure that 510 has some, some pretty cool colors out there. You're going to have to shop around, but as far as my knowledge goes, they come in tan and blue, uh, for the VCS. So yeah, that's it for this section. Okay. So now let's talk about rubber. So basically the rubber on this is going to be C4 stealth rubber. You can't really see it right here. But if I put the two shoes up there, you can kind of complete the sentence yourself. Say stealth C4 rubber. So it's pretty good stuff. Um, my overall my overall rating of it, I would say it's 
it's probably better than the Sportiva rubber that I've experienced um, with a lot of my climbing and different things. And when it did work at a rock wall, we had nothing but five tin shoes and the rubber did wear quite nicely. Eventually all rubber gets bald and starts kind of getting a little bit slippery um, from, from use. Um, but I would say that the 510, this, especially the Anasazi, it is yet to bald on me and is yet to do any kind of, um, any, any kind of anything weird that I wouldn't call normal, uh, normal from a, a rock or a rock climbing shoe. Um, so um, I would say that the way that they actually shape the rubber on the shoe is really good. The heel feels really secure when you have your heel in it. Um, it doesn't feel like your foot is going to slip off or anything, especially with the rubber kind of, it's kind of squeezing in on the ball of your foot. Um, so when your when your foot is actually in there, it really does feel like it's suctioned onto it. So it feels really good. It's it doesn't feel uncomfortable at all. Um, the rubber is relatively thick, so you know it's a durable shoe. Um, it also I would say that the the front end is probably about five millimeters thick, uh, and then the, it's got a really good uh, a really good rubber toe box there um, for you know good toe in you know going good toe in quality. Uh, and basically you can really squeeze your feet in there and really edge really hard. Um, so that's really good and I really like that about the shoe. Um, and that was one of the things I wanted a shoe that was going to outlast, uh, you know, my climbing, you know, and, or give me the benefit of, you know, give me as much climbing as I can get out of one shoe without having to resole it. Um, and so far the shoe has done perfect and I wouldn't say that it's failed in any way. So I'm really happy with the rubber quality on C4 or, uh, uh on the 510 Anasazis. And I really, I can't say enough that the C4 is probably going to be the best rubber you're going to find. Uh, out there, especially because this is a kind of a middle of the road shoe. It's not too expensive that you can't afford it, but it's a little bit it's a little bit higher than the lower end quality shoes that are run in the hundred dollar range. Uh, and so I would say this is a really good medium range uh, shoe with really good rubber. So you're getting a lot for your money, um, and it definitely does stick on the wall, especially if you're just just trying to smear um, or if you're stimming. Um, or, or anything like that, especially when you're edging or doing any heel hooks, it really does stick onto the rock. Uh, and I really love that about the shoe. I can't say that enough. All right. So let's talk about quality real quick. Um, the quality on this shoe is actually really high. I would give it a five out of five if I could, um, if I could give it a scale at all. Um, I would say that the glue and all the things that make up the shoe are really well done. You really can't see hardly any of the glue seams or anything from the from the rubber being attached onto the shoe. Um, it is really nicely finished, very well detailed, really good stitching on uh, as far as quality wise on the shoe itself. You can definitely see the stitch lines are very nice. You see a little bit of that glue line that's just from wear and tear and wear, you know using it um, outside. Um, the, I would say also the Velcros feel very secure and strong, and it's got a it's got some sort of nylon uh, outside, so that way it's not gonna if you do rub it up against a rock it's going to take a lot of that abrasion and be able to absorb it. And it wouldn't be too, it wouldn't be too, um, too bad if it did get a lot of abrasion on it to take just a lighter and very delicately run that lighter over that and kind of fray all those, all those edges and get it back to its smooth surface. Um, they do give you a generous amount of material on the Velcro. I would say that when the Velcro came, it had about that much, like about two inches on the top of it. Um, so that way when you, when you put your shoe on and you end up sizing it, you can just trim off the excess um, Velcro strap there and you kind of get it to the size that you need it. Um, and especially the way that my feet are, I have narrower feet, so I didn't need all that extra material hanging down, which was touching the ground and kind of bothering me. Um, so that's one of the kind of the nice things about it. Uh, and they have sew lines also, so that way when you cut it um, or you sever it, um, you don't have to worry about it coming on freight or anything. And then I literally took it just a lighter to it and melted the end of the actual tab itself, uh, which was kind of just a modification, I guess, on my own. I'm not sure if that's a, what they intended, um, but that's to what I saw as a really good, either they were intentional or, or unintentional. It did make it kind of one of those customizable things that I really did like about it. Uh, I would say that the fit wise too on it is really good as far as um, the quality goes. Uh, it does fit my foot really well and it doesn't, it didn't feel like it was wearing or causing any kind of abrasion or uncomfort or discomfort on my foot when I was wearing them, especially at first. Um, so they were very easy to break in and it wasn't, it didn't take me hardly any time at all to, to really get comfortable with wearing these shoes. Um, and especially since I got mine a little bit tighter than I really normally like my shoes, uh, 
these have done really, really, really well. So that's all I got to say about the uh, about the uh, the fit or quality. Sorry, not fit, quality. Now I'll talk about the fit. So it does fit my foot really well. I would say that when I first put them on, um, it, it just felt like they belonged on my feet. They do feel they don't feel overly bulky, and they don't feel like they can't flex. It does have a generous amount of flex to it as well as being rigid and strong, especially for somebody who um, you know, may not have really great footwork. It really helps you kind of lock your foot in, so that way when you toe into any kind of edges, you're really putting, and you're putting all that weight in, you're not gonna be bending the shoe uh, in any kind of weird way that, that wouldn't feel natural to your foot. Um, and the great thing about it is it helps you kind of, you can still feel the rock. It's not so thick that I feel like you're, you're not just throwing your foot onto the wall and, and just trying to really feel around. You can really feel the edges and the natural pockets inside the wall with this toe. So it's not too thick um, that that you can't feel anything and it's not too thin that you feel like you're going to uh, you know blow a hole out in, in your rubber and then have to replace it. So I would say that that is a really great quality to, to have on a shoe um, as well as being a synthetic upper and lower uh, and and basically just having that ability that it doesn't smell i know that sounds really weird but a lot of times climbing shoes they start getting an odor after a while after you wear them and i think the synthetics kind of help keep that odor down instead of having the leather insides uh, having synthetic i think just helps kind of fight a lot of that bacteria of course all climbing shoes end up smelling so that's just one of those things you're just going to have to accept when when you're doing climbing uh, you're going to have smelly shoes and all your partners and all those other people around you are probably going to have even smellier shoes than you. Um, so it's always good to just kind of make sure that, uh, you know, you just understand your product and, you know, that's going to happen. So, and you don't want to wear socks with any of these shoes. I know that sounds really funny for most of you guys who are pretty experienced, but there's a lot of people out there I've seen out just bouldering the first timers and they're wearing socks and it's like, you just can't do that because you're taking away a lot of the feeling that you have with your shoe and the ability to actually feel around the rock. You don't want to wear socks with these. You know, you're going to have to just gut up and just put your foot in the shoe and just, you know, deal with the fact that you don't have socks on. So I know that sounds really strange for some people, but there are a lot of people out there that just, for some reason, they just don't want to wear a shoe without a sock. So, uh, yes, I would say that the fit on this shoe feels great. I haven't had any problems. Uh, having this shoe on, and I love it. I just absolutely love it. I can't say enough about the 510 Anastasis. Um, if I ever want to repair these shoes, these are going to be the shoes I'm going to repair. I think I'm going to love these shoes for a long time, and that's the great thing about it is that C4, you know, you can just, you know, you don't have to buy a whole new shoe once you destroy it. Uh, once you destroy the rubber on it, you can just send it in and have it resold, you know, for 40, 50, 60 bucks. Uh, and especially with the C4 rubber, that stealth rubber is going to be great, really great to work with. Um, and it's relatively, you know, I would say it's probably the best rubber that I've found out there, um, especially to my liking and my research. So, all right, guys. Well, listen, that include that concludes uh this uh review of the anasazis um if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them below and i'll try to answer them as you know as fast as possible um i really appreciate you guys watching my channel and i really appreciate you know doing these reviews for you guys um so hopefully we have more gear we have do we do have more gear that needs to be reviewed i just have to find the time to do it and hopefully i'll get some new stuff out here pretty soon so i appreciate you guys watching and as i always say be safe out there and try not to cut yourselves all right this is Gearholic and I'm signing out. Later guys.